custom menu E. EV step is in how many uh, how many clicks does it take to go one stop? So if you just do one EV, you go straight from say F4 to F5-6 to F8 to F11. Half steps, you'll get one intermediary step, and a third EV gives you two intermediary steps. I leave it on one third. I like having a little bit of a fine adjustment there. Noise reduction, I keep that off, and I also keep my noise filter off. Um, this is a uh, noise filter only works on on JPEG and noise reduction works on long exposures. Occasionally I'll set noise reduction to auto if I'm just doing basic landscape work and if I do a three or four second shot it can go ahead and do a noise reduction. But I've been doing a lot of astrophotography lately and I do not remove the noise because I actually shoot dark frames and remove them later in specialized software. Um, so I leave both of these off. However, um, I recommend noise reduction set to auto. ISO, I have that in the mode I'm at, is uh, set to auto. Really, this is an arbitrary uh, option that's in here because you're going to set that from your body button anyways or from the super control panel. Uh, ISO step, again, same as EV step. I like it in one third. I like having the finer option. Um, it's your preference. ISO auto setting. This allows you to set what your auto ISO limits are. I set my high limit to 5000 and I set the default um, to 200. That way uh, when you use auto ISO, it'll, uh, the ISO will adjust within that range. If you don't like ISO 5000, it's too noisy for you, set that lower um, or set it higher. <laughs> I find everything over 5000 isn't really to my, uh, to my liking. And then ISO Auto, you can determine what modes uh, that's effective in. Um, all modes or just PAS. I just leave it in PAS. And again, that's primarily uh, I'm using just aperture priority or manual. And if I'm using manual, then I don't need to worry about Auto ISO because I'm setting everything myself. Metering. I leave this on uh, just the base evaluative, but this is where you have your spot meter and things like that. Again, you can get this from the super control panel or your body button. Um, so really, no need to adjust it in here. Uh, AEL metering, um, same thing. So bulb timer, I leave mine on 30 minutes. Gives me the longest option depending what I'm doing. Uh, bulb time monitor, this is how dark the screen gets when you're in bulb time mode uh, once it starts shooting. I put mine at minus seven. It's all the way down to conserve battery, uh, especially when you're doing really long exposures. Live bulb mode, I have that off at the moment. Um, that shows you uh, how often you refresh if you're using live bulb. And live time is the same thing, how many times you'll refresh um, if you're using live time and you want to see the image develop over the long exposure. I use live time a little bit more often, so I have that set to half a second that will change depending on the kind of image you're making. So just something to keep in mind. Again, these two settings you can get to when you're in live bulb or live time mode just by hitting the, the OK button. That'll bring you right to that setting adjustment so you don't even have to go digging through the menu. Composite settings. Um, again, this is based on what you're doing. Uh, I leave mine to just one second that'll adjust when I'm actually making my image and same with these depending what I'm actually doing then I'll change the setting to make sense with that image 